Oh yeah, also don't worry. I know you're gonna ask about the Iridium Traces. I completed that. Today is a great day. And the reason for this is because we're going to... Actually, it's a terrible day. Because we have to do more of the menial labor. Yep. More bullshit. And the only reason why we have to do this is because we want to complete the, the map. Because the map is cool. Because the map is made by nice people. Oh, that did absolutely jack all. Um, anyway, we're going to have to go ahead and restock on gas for our vehicle. We're not using this yet. The fuel reserve needs to be a little higher before we start using that. But the, the whole reason we're going out today is to finish Arsenal 3. We have the five markers necessary for it. And I think it's important that we do so. And we have weapons that will allow us to sneak around now. The zombies in the military zones won't, won't know what hit them. Because we have the ticky. The ticky. The ticky. Is it the tick here or the tickly? The ticky. Oh my god, I've been saying it wrong the entire time. I thought it said tickly. No, it's the ticky. <laughs> Tiki! Oh no. I just realized. I see what you guys did. I'm not gonna say anything. But if you know, you know. It might not have been on purpose either. So I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. But there are areas all over this map where there's red trucks, apparently. And I don't know where they are. I mean, they're technicals, and I didn't know that these people actually knew what tentacles were. Te tentacles? Tentacles, guys. If I love some tentacles. No, uh, I didn't know that the, the people who made this map knew what technicals were, because I thought they were telling me just to go to some random vehicles and place them. No, they actually do mean technical vehicles that you see in military, where they're just armored up, souped up trucks with HMGs on the back. Like brownings, usually. So we're looking for that sort of thing, and I think no, that's because that's I think yeah, that's Point November. We're not gonna find it back there. What is this up here? What is Wasad? Why does it exist? What is this? Real quiet. Is this where like the terrorists are? Or is this just I don't think so. No, this is just another another thing, I think. A joke. I feel like people get offended. So, I feel like it's best to say nothing. But, yeah, this... The Middle East is an interesting place. And by interesting, I mean... Unusual. I'm picking them up for their novelty factor, because this is like one of the only places I think you could find old school weapons. And I know that's weird because it's a video game, who cares? But for me, I'm like, wow, this is actually old. This is an old weapon, we don't see these anymore. So I'm just like, let's take that, because this is old school. So to me, it actually has some sort of weird value despite being a digital game. That appends no value to these items. <laughs> I'm 
Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> How did that scare me? Did I not see him? I love the reaction that I had to. Like, my vision went everywhere. That was... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm a baby. I'm a fucking baby. <laughs> Picking up iodine. Fuck you. I'm stealing all your iodine. And the reason why I'm getting iodine instead of, like, bandages is because when I first started this up, I actually was like, oh, how do I heal? But then I learned a lot about this game. And, like, it started becoming more routine. And it feels good to have control over that now. To have iodine to reduce... To reduce to reduce my um, illness, so to speak. Also, I love how that's not physical, so we just fall through it like a doofus. Wow! Man, this is like an old school outpost with no name. They just call it Westside. Like, okay. It is in fact the West Side. Oh, this could be where the technical are. Al Mahura. Al Mahura. We need to go there. Also, I know I said it in a weird way, accent -y way that wasn't even on purpose. That's just how I speak sometimes. Because every now and then I will randomly adopt accents and I don't know what's up with me. I'm not doing that intentionally to piss anyone off. I'm just like doing that randomly. And I don't know if that's like some sort of brain thing. Like I have some sort of issue. Or if it's just, I don't know. Subconscious stuff. Either way. Shoot him in the face. That usually solves a lot of problems in this area. Another one of those entrenching tools. <laughs> I don't know, something about just shooting him and he just. Little. <laughs> and falls over. Feels just like using the honey badger. <laughs> if anyone's gotten the honey badger for the first time, or as it's called now, the PDW, you'll know how <laughs> awesome it is to just. And they're dead. <laughs> it is one of the most funny things to witness. Also, there's just a helmet up there. The Zolosh here. Should I pick that up? Yes. Because we, we, we deserve it. We deserve this Zolosh. And a medical kit. I've been picking up only medical kits and iodine for years now. Because I don't bleed for some reason. I think that's just something I accidentally put up, maybe? But at this point, it's like I'm so far into this and it, I, I'm so used to it that I just don't want to bother anymore. And you may say, well, that's not very, like, authentic. <clears throat> and, and you know what? You're right. You're right. But sometimes you just gotta play this game your own way. And have fun with it as you go. Because I'm not, like, circumventing the... The, the, the... I'm not circumventing the quests. I'm just going on, a, going on like, long hikes. Finding plenty of gear. And then coming back. And having to manage it all and work towards that goal, and it, it gets a little better. It's a little better that way. At least with this game. Like, in Vanilla Unturned, yeah, I can see why that would be kind of boring. Because, like, in Vanilla Unturned, you just sit there for an hour, have all the gear, and, like, then what? But with, like, the ability... So, I wish you would stop playing games. 
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn off Origin. I am so sorry for this. For, like, this interruption of Origin. I don't like Origin. Origin, screw, screw off. I said quit, bro. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. It'll, it'll, it's probably frozen, which means it won't do anything anyway. Good. It doesn't deserve to do anything. I disapprove. What is this? A peak? An OK zero. What is this? Oh, it's like an aim point, but not American. <laughs> was that quiet? It was. I mean, that's realistic quiet. That's actually realistic quiet. Suppressor. I'm surprised someone even bothered to make that a realistically quiet suppressor. Because suppressors aren't as quiet as the heat. Like this, this? Kind of bullshit. This? Real. Real. That is far more real. And if anyone tries to, like, bullshit you, don't listen. There's only very few cases in which that is possible. And it's normally with very expensive cutting-edge stuff. I can't really use the muzzle brake for that, because this already has its own, you know, integrated barrel suppressor, which means no threading. But... For as much as anyone wants to tell you stuff, do not listen. Do not listen to their lies. Do not be bought in by their baloney. Their lies are used as weapons against you in the ultimate span for knowledge. What is that? Why why is there just a random building disabled area? Let's let's go there. I know we're running out of gas and we probably need to refill, but I want to go there, and I want to know why that huge empty stretch is just absolutely disallowed for building. Is there just a huge group of Zimbabweans? Zombinos? Actually, there's something there, I think. Yeah, there's something there in the middle? Of all that? What? What in the world? Oh! Oh! Oh no! Get in. Oh no! No, the jack was in it! Oh, crap. Well, we're in a bad position, because we're now in the middle of nowhere, off the side of a cliff, next to a bunch <clears throat> of dead soldiers. That did a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. Look, look, ready, ready. It literally insta- It instantly kills crawlers! Crawlers with helmets? I'm not sure, but dudes with helmets standing up can even die. Yep. Standing helmets can even die. I don't know about crawling helmets, because they might have a lot of more health. Is there a crawling helmet? No. But I checked out what's going on here, and sort of disappointed, I guess you could say. I fell off a cliff for this. But I have no way of getting any of my items out in the jeep, so we're pretty much stuck. Oh god, I have to go back. I have to run through the sands to get stuff. Oh.
life on red, sick in the head Another day is another dread, feel half dead My mind is cloudy, my lips are lead A lack of serotonin control, a scar that sits on the soul I'm having fits like opposites are dividing the whole time but, uh, yeah, now we're in the, now we're in the oof zone, so. We're gonna have to clutch our guns tight. Also, if we truly need ammo, we do have reserve guns with ammo on them that we can strip, so. Well, this certainly would have it if it was here. One of them binos. Just sound, you know, boot thing for the Air Force. Also, I'm pretty much like... <laughs> there would be a carjack here for sure, but... Nothing. Man, are they really gonna make me abandon my car like this? I literally ran all the way through the midnight sand for this. For the midnight sand! You know what? Why don't we do a montage while I look through stuff? You know, that's actually kind of fitting. You know, because like usually in a story, you don't usually don't go from objective to objective. Also, sorry for, like, having slow aim. That's a huge coyote pack in tan. I couldn't find that for so long. And now that I have a bigger backpack, the game's like, Yeah. Yeah. Have the coyote pack in tan. I don't want it. I do want this, because apparently this is very valuable, so... Ah, see, this is the incorrect Zolosh. See, this is the goofy Zolosh. Oh. Which is funny, because I think it uses the wrong Zolosh. Because it uses this Zolosh, and not this Zolosh. But it looks more like that Zolosh. But this looks more like that. And since you require this to turn in that... I would think it's a modified version that they're making for you for bartering. Encrypted CD? What it did? 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 Fuck! Ah, my left ear! Ah! Ah! I was so left. Oh, that hurt. Fuck, man. Dude, did we really just find, like, pretty much all the pieces required to make this? Night vision thing? Let's see what's required. Really quickly. Electronics, yes! We can make the night vision required to enter the bunker. But you're welcome, I just suffered a fucking attack. <laughs> ah! I don't even want to be here anymore. We're done with this area. We're leaving. But I always put like my base in like big fields just before like the populated areas. So like in Rust, the in old Rust, there was a f there was only so many places you could build a base. It's not like this game where, like, there's huge expanses that you can place down. This map is probably bigger than the actual Rust map. This map is actually probably bigger than the original Rust map, because I'm pretty sure this one mountain that I'm running around on is almost the size. Like, I would argue that half the map is literally the size of Rust Island in the old game. And so, like, I had to run for far less time. But, 
in old school Rust. Oh man. And you could argue that this is probably more new Rust because new Rust has like the desert and it's just like this. So like it'd be way more valid. But it's kind of not exactly the same because when you think about old Rust, there's a road that runs through every area. And that's the same for New Rust, but like in Old Rust, it was like a ring. And this is sort of ringish. But it's like you can only see half the ring. You see what I mean on the map. And if you know what the map is like on Rust, it's sort of like this ring. So like it would come around back up and around here. Kind of like that. But we don't see it because the ring is so big and the map is not big enough to uh, come account for it that it just doesn't appear on our map in the game. Because, you know, we only have so much of an area in this game to work with that is part of the Middle East. This is a very, like, extremely small portion of the Middle East. Like, I would argue that this isn't even, like, one you know, one hundredth of the Middle East. The Middle East is a huge portion that spans between... Oh, here. Oh, Jack. It's a huge portion that... Oh, there was one right here. It po that spans out. You know, we could have probably avoided going to the west side altogether and just went from here to back, but I'm kind of happy I didn't because I got the C96. And don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to finish my recording session just yet. So it'll probably be like, I'll release this and then uh, like half an hour later or an hour later. Or maybe half a day later, I'll post the next episode and that sort of thing. But as I keep playing this, I think I'll keep uploading because this seems to be fun. And I'm really interested in recording. And I didn't have the motivation to record Unturned before. When I was doing the original, like, PEI survival, I did, like, one episode and said, mm, I'm done. <laughs> I even ha I had recordings of it. Not anymore. Uh, my drive got destroyed. My dad was being a goober. I'm not mad at him or anything. It's fine. But, um... Yeah, I lost that stuff, like, over a year ago now. I'm grateful that we're back. being honest like that was pretty good that was a pretty fun adventure because you know usually i'd have to run around and like drive i drive around places i don't normally like i don't normally just sit down well i do sit down when i drive but you know what i mean oh no don't do this to me flip please flip Oh, baby, we're back. Baby, we're back. Actually, we have room to put stuff away in. Oh, oh my god, it's already almost been an hour, and that was our whole trek. Oh, I can't believe this. Anyway, now that we're finally ready to go, and I need to fill up this car with gas before bad things happen. <laughs> We're gonna go to the gas station, and that's where we'll stop. And then I'll keep, you know, recording again. But you'll you'll have to just so we can do a little detour and have a little bit of consequences that follow to our engines. <laughs> hey. You didn't deserve that after all you went through. You need to be nice to my vehicles. Well, I'll be nice to you. No one else will. I will be at least, friend. Anyway. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. We'll cap it off with something excruciatingly special. Something so special that... It'll literally lead to a new chapter of interests. Not just the, the, uh... And we're not just talking about, like... <clears throat> a 
about gear here. We're not, we are talking just about our gear, actually. That's precisely what we're just talking about. We're only talking about. I love how I have that on in case it get, the car gets stuck. The car gets flipped upside down. I have no access to it because I decided to get out. I think that wasn't my finest decision. Three canisters of full heal. And we will put that back. We also have those full, too, in the event that we have none of the blue canisters full. So we have a lot of fallback fuel. Don't worry about that. We got plenty of fallback fuel. Also, we got the high quality fabric, so I guess it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. We even got that. Right, right, no, that was a good adventure because we actually got a lot of good stuff. Oh, man. Man, my brain. My brain's like, oh, everything's a lot. So, you know what? That's a success. And I got jump scared. So, that makes even more. Like, that makes it even more entertaining. Yeah, yeah, I did. yeah, no, no, that is exactly, like, you heard my final words, right? <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. And then I saw the mines and I'm like, I am in the air. I am in so much trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> all right. Looks like they wanted us to continue our episode, huh? Just a little longer. Alright. I realized something, though. We're gonna have to get another car. Oh, God. Oh! We're near Point Mike. Point Mike might have one. Let's pray that Point Mike has a has a Jeep. Because if they don't have a Jeep, we're, we're deep in the doo-doo water. We don't want to get We were almost home. I feel absolutely stupid. <laughs> and I deserve to feel that way because that was absolutely dumb. I didn't hit the brakes. I didn't try to stop. I didn't even know there was mines down there, to be honest. I didn't try to at least be like, oh no, I'm going to fling myself into Timbuktu world. I just said... Man, you know it'd be funny if I went scooped about and that up, <laughs> and so I did. But yeah, I admit I feel like a total fucking bean. Oh, there, that's too small of a base to actually have any vehicles. Oh, Point November. Point November is where I found my jeep, and it's probably near exactly where I died. So. This will have to do. Oh yeah, there's that bridge. The death bridge. You can see the mines. Oh, that was awful, by the way. I'm so sad. Why are there even mines down there? I have to bring my stuff up to the car because I'm not bringing my car towards the mines. Oh man, I've got to be careful because I have no idea where the mines are. Biggest items first. We'll go in order of item size. Because that way it'll make it much easier to stack everything that's smaller. Now I'm gonna start 
there and just your stuff remains intact. That's kind of nice. I'm glad I don't have to go and get those again. Now I'm gonna slowly turn around the right of the truck. That was awful. Oh, we got our stuff back. Now we can finally do the last thing we need to actually fucking do. Which, by the way, rest in peace, my fucking truck. That will definitely be missed. But that was that was totally my fault for being way too careless. Oh man. Get that sort of Wilson complex. Where just anything that you attach, like, an actual personality or... I guess, yeah, just personality to. It becomes a support. Regardless. My car's not going home. And I feel very bad that that happened. We'll have to go and get another one. Because we're not going to be driving a Halex around all the day. All the day? All the day. We're not going to be dri sitting around driving a Halex all day. Because that's just not going to happen. So, thank you so, so much for uh, being with me here today. Even if our outcome was unfortunate, to say the least. We got our stuff back, but we don't have our friend anymore. And that is a loss that we'll have to accept. Yeah, we don't have any electronic parts, you know why? I decided, haha, what if we just don't? <laughs> Actually, we can get electronics, because guess who has a broken radio on them? Guess who has a broken radio? Except it doesn't appear to be here. It's probably on this page. We're not breaking that. We're breaking this. Okay, we now have everything we need. We're making the tool, the utility that goes over your eyes and lets you see in the dark. The one thing we've needed for quite a while. Night vision goggles. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, that looks awesome. At this point, we're pretty much set for the next stage of things. So if we ever want to just get to the next stage, we can. But anyway, for now, I'm going to unload some stuff into the back, for the back of the car, into here. And then I'm going to actually continue on our adventure in that truck. And then we'll be able to find what we need. Get the flares placed and finish three. Because I know that we have to begin our bunker adventure at some point. And I think what's happening next will award us just that thing. So yeah. I will see you guys when I'm done organizing everything I need to organize. <laughs>